Hey, it's Jared with State of Tech. Today we're gonna to take a look at some Apple Watch cases for your Apple Watch. Now, I have the 45 millimeter, the largest Apple Watch that they make, but all of these cases are available for a variety of Apple Watches, both the smaller Apple Watch uh, Series 7 and Series 6. I mean, a lot of these cases really are gonna fit multiple watches. The only thing that we need to be clear to watch out for is that being that the Apple Watch Series 7 has uh, less bezel, some of the cases we wanna make sure are not gonna cover up the bezel. Now, why would you wanna put a case on your Apple Watch? Isn't it super strong and uh, resistant to all sorts of damage? Well, yes, but it still is not scratch proof. Now, I got Apple Watches for my kids a little over a year ago when the Apple Watch uh, Series SE or the SE came out. I got Apple Watches for my kids and my kids don't, I mean, they don't go out of their way to hit their Apple Watches on things, but they're kids and they're running into things and hitting things all the time. And so without some sort of a case on their Apple Watch, their watches would be totally destroyed by now. And the aluminum Apple Watch is a little bit more susceptible to damage. It is made out of aluminum. It will dent, uh, you know, just, and if it dents along the seam here where the glass is, you can run into issues. I have purchased, I've always purchased like the steel or the titanium Apple Watches because I've had aluminum Apple products in the past that have dented. And I just wanna make sure that I am you know, protecting uh, the device by having it made out of a more solid material. But cases are a great option for the Apple Watch, and we're gonna look at a variety of case options here today, uh, different ways to protect your Apple Watch because it's not cheap. Uh, our wrists, uh, where our watch are, definitely accidentally hit things from time to time, and so having some sort of protection around your Apple Watch is just gonna keep it from, uh, from having damage done to it. So we're gonna start out with a simple one. Uh, this case here is essentially just a carbon fiber uh, protection that goes around the edges of your Apple Watch. It does not provide any, uh, any glass protection, but it does provide protection around the Apple Watch. So if I just snap this guy right on over the Apple Watch, we can see here that it provides a good protection all the way around, maybe a little too much protection. Uh, you know, I have used this exact case, not this exact one, but the same case before on a previous Apple Watch. And the problem that I'm running into now is just that because the face extends out so far with small bezels around the edges, you can kind of tell here that, um, you know, this is just right up against the edge. And I can notice that I notice the case much more than I did in the past prior to the Apple Watch having this case size. So, you know, if we look at the protection that's being provided here, you know, we've got protection, uh, we've got openings for microphones and speakers and everything like that. Um, you can see on this up, if I pressed it down a little bit further, then it's, uh, it's a nice, perfect fit all the way around. So the carbon fiber look is nice. I, I like this particular look. Um, it just, you know, it's, it's a nice finish. So this is a good option here, but it, it can pop off kind of easy, as you can see. Um, it's, it's not as super secure, but at the same time, with a little bit of a blunt force to the Apple Watch, I would rather have the case pop off than have damage inflicted to the Apple Watch. All right, so we're gonna keep going down uh, the path of just snap-on cases first before we get to these cases that also have bands as a part of them. So this case here, this is from uh, Mixi, I think M-I-S-X-I, and this is a just plastic case that goes over the Apple Watch. It comes with a set of two. These are the cases that I put on my kids' Apple Watches um, that have protected the screens on my kids' Apple Watch. So it does have a protective film that you take off of the bottom, and then you snap it over your Apple Watch like so, and then you peel off the top layer. Now, you can see it adds a bit of size to the Apple Watch. It does make it a little bit bigger all the way around. This particular case fits better than the carbon fiber case, which the carbon fiber, this part carbon fiber case is a couple of generations old. So I've got it linked. I've got the newer model linked down in the description below, um, which will definitely fit, fit better. So this 
case here, like I said, is what I have for my kids' Apple Watches. And I like it because it provides glass protection as well, and then protection all the way around the Apple Watch. And that means any, you know, anything that's gonna come in contact with the glass is going to come in contact with this plastic cover first, and that's gonna protect the glass from getting scraped, getting damaged, and I've gone through several of these with my kids. I think they're both on their second or third uh, cover because it's just all scratched up, and it's definitely protected their Apple Watch a lot. So I highly recommend, I mean, if you're just looking, even for something that would pop off relatively easy uh, that you can take on and off, uh, and not have to have it on your Apple Watch all the time, that's a great option. Now, a case that uh, is a little bit more involved, but still just a, a simple protection case, uh, would be this case from Caseology. Uh, the Apple Watch slides into it instead, so let's go ahead and slide the Apple Watch into the case instead of sliding the case onto the Apple Watch, like the last two cases that we looked at. So let's just get this on there. It's a little bit of a snug fit and I've accidentally zoomed in on my Apple Watch, which is a feature that I know is super useful, but at the same time, I've accidentally enabled this a couple times, and it is a real pain to get out of that zoom mode. All right, so I've got the Apple Watch in there. Let's go ahead and slide the band back on. So just installing this case, it's already kind of suffering from kind of what I figured would happen. There's a bunch of junk just around the edges of the case that has kind of collected, and so I'm going to have to clean a, a case like this much more often because it's going to collect stuff around the edges. Now, what I like about this Caseology case is that it is very protective. It wraps all the way around the Apple Watch, even protects the bottom of the Apple Watch as well, uh, making access for um, you know the, the sensors and stuff on the bottom plenty of, of room. It has a nice uh, design. It just fits that really well. Uh, perfect openings for the speaker and the microphone and the button feels good. I like that the button is even covered as well. Uh, it's one of the first few cases that I've seen that, that does that. Um, so that's nice. I mean, this is a good case. I really do like this case. It just doesn't provide any glass protection. Um, it, it obviously has a good cutout all the way around the display and so I don't feel like I'm losing any of my display because of the case. Overall, I, I like this case. This is a nice one. Um, this would be a great alternative to simply just having to have uh, a plastic cover like this that covers the, the face. If you're not needing to cover the face of the glass, this is a good option. It feels good. It doesn't add a ton of uh, uh, of size to the Apple Watch itself, and it adds protection around the edges where the aluminum is on this particular Apple Watch that would, uh, of course, protect any damage to the sides. So it also has, you know, perfect indentations for the buttons so that I can still easily remove my watch strap. That is a nice feature as well. All right, so now we're moving on to cases that also have a watch band embedded as part of the experience. We're going to start out with the Elkson Quattro Pro Series Apple Watch case. Uh, this is a complete case and watch band that has uh, kind of a rubbery feel. It feels like most uh, cases, most phone cases these days. So we're going to go ahead and slide this right in. It's a very snug fit, but it pops right into place and we'll go ahead and put it on my wrist here. All right, so this, this feels pretty good. I mean, this, this band to me feels very much like, um, uh, like a G-Shock type of watch band. I mean, it has a, a good amount of heft to it. it. It feels good. It is a little kind of, I don't know, plasticky, but it's, it's not bad at all. I don't like the fact that it has the word protection <laughs> along the side of it, and then there's a, a mode button over here. It really, you know, kind of makes my Apple Watch feel uh, maybe a bit cheaper with those words on there. I don't know. But the band itself is really nice. It says shock resist right here, which, I mean, I... I don't know if the band and then mud resist on the other side. So <laughs> I don't know. I did not notice that when I purchased this Apple Watch. Um, uh, you know, when when these brands, when these companies put words on here, I know they're trying to mimic, uh, you know, more mainstream uh 
brands, but I think they missed the mark. I mean, to me, this is a decent watch band. Started out really well, but just as I started looking, I mean, I, I don't mind their brand down here, the Elkson logo. It's not a bad looking. I like that it's got a little, like maybe a little mountain, um, but I mean, protection, I don't know. I don't need that. Mode, sure, that's fine, but shock resist and mud resist, like, I, I don't know. I just, I can't. <laughs> I can't get excited about that. That watch band is, I don't know, just not for me. So now we're going to move on to uh, a Supcase Unicorn Beetle Pro case. Um, I've seen these before. I've had uh, an older version of one of these uh, watch cases before. This is what I started my kids out with is a watch band similar to this. It wasn't, uh, I don't think it was a Unicorn Beetle, but it was a watch band like this because I thought, you know, I need to give my kids watch band or Apple watches as much protection as possible. So I'm going to wrap it in a big case uh, that provides a lot of protection with a band that is stronger and everything as well, or what I would assume would be stronger. And uh, it was just a little too much uh, and they didn't really last as long as I, I thought. But um, this case is very hefty. Um, Subcase produces some really nice stuff, and their stuff is typically pretty strong. I mean, I've reviewed a ton of their smartphone cases, and I mean, this case is a lot. I mean, it's a big area around your, your watch. It provides a ton of protection uh, from, you know, I guess I'd call it like glass protection. I mean, there's no protection on the glass, but the amount of space around here, I mean, you'd really have to go out of your way to damage the glass on your Apple Watch. Um, I like the clasp down here. It's really nice. It's uh, It feels good. This particular watch band feels a little bit better than the Elkson, even though the Elkson felt really good too. Um, so I, I would feel really secure with this Apple Watch band uh, protecting my Apple Watch from you know pretty much anything. And just tons of protection all the way around. Maybe a little too much protection, uh, but I mean, this is the Unicorn Beetle Pro Series, and that is typical of Subcase with their cases providing lots of protection all the way around the devices, uh, whether it be an Apple Watch or a smartphone, because their Unicorn Beetle Series is available for smartphones as well. So you can get a relatively matching case for your phone that matches your Apple Watch, and that's kind of a neat thing too. Uh, it has kind of the faux carbon here on the sides and you know the band has uh, kind of like a faux carbon inlay as well so i don't know i've got to say this this as far as the bands go so far my favorite um sub case always coming in with good quality stuff and no different here so the last one is a bit more involved and i've got to even get the little included screwdrivers out in order to get it in to this case. This particular case is uh, aluminum and it's a protective case with a aluminum band as well or I don't know it might be steel but it feels it doesn't feel like steel to me it might just be uh, aluminum all the way around but I've got to take out these little screws in order to get to the uh, to get the top of it off and so we'll just pop out these little screws real quick and then get our Apple Watch in this case. So this this is much more involved but um, it also just has a unique look because while the others are molded plastic or nylon or whatever material that they're made out of this is uh, a machined face here and so uh, it looks like the bottom maybe some sort of composite that doesn't look like I mean that doesn't look like aluminum uh, this looks like maybe some sort of a composite so let's get the Apple Watch snapped in here there we go snapped into place let's get this face and put it back on this is a lot guys um, just a lot more than these other cases okay uh, I don't this isn't going to fit, I don't think. Oh, hold on. We just really got to be careful in working this down. Let's get that other screw out. Yeah, I don't know if this one's going to fit. Now, online, uh, I remember the description being changed to say that it would fit. Um, but let's 
let's just loosen these screws and just double check here first before I make any final judgments. Let's get these screws out. Those screws are so tiny. If one of them fell down onto my carpet, I would never find it. I don't think this is going to fit and I don't want to put too much pressure on pushing down this metal piece onto the top of my Apple Watch. So this, even though it says 44 millimeter right here, which that means it's for last year's Apple Watch. I did look online and the description showed that it was available um, and worked with the 45 or the, the Series 7. It didn't say 45 millimeter, it did say Series 7. And so something must have been wrong there. It could very well have been my mistake, but I don't think it was. So this Apple Watch, case obviously not going to work. I'm including this in the video because, uh, not because anything is wrong with this case. I mean, if I was using my Apple Watch Series 6, this would be a perfect, uh, perfect case, perfect example. But a lot of the cases out there, they have tolerances that are a little bit different, especially a case like this where there's a lot more to it. This case is going to work great with the Series 6, but it's not going to work with the Series 7. And you want to be careful when you order cases and then also when you get your cases, um, be careful not to uh, force them on because there's tolerance differences there and you don't want to damage your Apple Watch. So you want to be very careful there. So we looked at several cases for the Apple Watch that provide protection in a variety of different ways. I've got links down in the description below for you. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel here to be notified when I put out new videos. And I'll be back with another one soon, so make sure to check back, and we'll see you there. Take care.